Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about my New Year's resolutions because I think it's something that it's kind of, um, it's a weird thing to talk about. It's not really a weird thing to talk about, but everybody's New Year's resolution is to lose weight. I feel like that's the case because everybody gets one of these during the holidays and everyone wants to get rid of it in the new year. And um, I feel like a lot of people's New Year's resolutions are, I don't know if what the word would be, um, I don't feel like a good word for it is to call it um, unrealistic, um, but I feel like we all have these big ideas to get in shape and to do this and to do that in the new year. And I will be the first to admit that I am one of those people. I have, I am the worst at setting goals for myself and not finishing them. So I wanted to talk to you guys about my goals for 2014 and maybe some of you are with me and maybe we can all help each other out because I just gotta say, I mean, 2013 was a good year but I, I sort of, I don't know if let myself go is the right term for it. That's a good way to put it. And I'm not just talking about my weight because weight is, okay, number one, yes, that is one of my goals is to get to a healthy weight. As has been my goal for like the last five years. I have been trying to get to my healthy weight forever. And as most of you probably know, or either of you subscribed from it, or I don't know, I had lost 30 pounds. And the cold hard truth of it all is, if you can't tell by looking at me, and I've never wanted to admit this, and it makes me sick to say it, but I gained it back. <laughs> and the reason I did is, and I'm not trying to make excuses, but I am trying to give you a little reasoning as to why, because I did really good. I did really, 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 really super good. But um, I couldn't eat anything because I had a really bad gallbladder. And um, so for like the last three years, I was unable to eat anything with any fat in it. I couldn't have any dairy. I couldn't have anything with even trivial amounts of fat in it. I couldn't even eat avocado because it would trigger me having a gallbladder attack. So I had to eat really small portions of food and I had to eat um, no fat. So basically I was on a low fat, tiny portion vegan diet because I couldn't eat anything, anything with even trivial amounts of fat in it. I mean, seriously, it would send me into like puking and I was throwing up every single day, not bulimia reasons, but the but my bad gallbladder was making me puke every single day. So I was basically, anything I was get, taking in, which was very small amounts, I was throwing up. So for three years, I threw up every single day, not for my, not because I wanted to. Um, so I got surgery, I don't know, six, eight months ago. I can't remember how many months ago, probably six months ago. And in, after that surgery, um, I realized I can eat anything I want with no pain, no discomfort, and no side effects. And so it led me into a tailspin of, I can finally, after three years, eat whatever I want. I can have sour cream, I can have cheese, I can have those things, and it's not gonna hurt me. Before I could have those things and they would hurt me, but they couldn't, I couldn't eat as much of them enough to get really super fat. So long story short, I ate a shitload of cheese and pasta and big quantities because I could. And anything I wanted, whenever I wanted it, I ate it because I could now. And it was so freeing because before I couldn't. And excuses all set aside, I ate way too much food and I didn't move enough and so I wanted to make my first goal be that I get healthy and I necessarily don't need to get super skinny, um, but, but actually healthy for my height and five feet tall, five foot one on a good day. Um, healthy for my height is a hell of a lot thinner than I am now. And, um, so basically I need to lose like legitimately in 2014, I need to lose like minimum 60 pounds, <laughs> 65 pounds um, to get to a healthy weight range. I could be in a healthy top end w weight range with like 60, maybe 55 pounds, but um, which is totally attainable. 
plenty of people do it. It's not like far out of the realm of possibilities of something that I can't handle. It's keeping it off that's been hard for me. And everybody wants a weight loss update and how have you been doing with your weight loss? And it's like one of my most viewed videos and you look so great and I'm so proud of you. And the legitimate answer is I haven't been addressing it because I've <laughs> just been eating. <laughs> so yeah. It, it hasn't gone well and um, I was so proud of myself and I was doing so well and um, I absolutely plan on getting back to that and not I'm gonna try I mean you know you just gotta do the best that you can and be realistic with yourself and I know I can lose weight it's just the keeping it off part that's been really hard for me so um, as you can see back here this white bike back here is my bike and we got that for Christmas and not kidding Every day since we've had it, since it's been the 25th, we've ridden our bikes for at least an hour. It's been amazing. It's such good exercise. I am so out of shape that I could cry. I am. I, I can't even go up, up, even slightly up a slight incline. And I'm like, <laughs> like coughing, walking my bike up the hill, puking. I'm so out of shape. Like. I clearly haven't moved in like five years. And people always ask me when I lost weight in my last video, they're like, oh, so what sort of exercise did you do? Because you don't address exercise in the video. I didn't exercise. I lost 25 pounds in six weeks without exercising. I just didn't eat very much. I mean, I, you, everything I ate, I listed in the description of that video so you can go look at it and see what I ate to lose weight. But yeah, it was very low calorie. I mean, it was restrictive, but not feeling restrictive. It was cutting my carbs back, but keeping in the good carbs. And it was just all of that combined. So I know how to lose weight and I know what to do. It's just, I have let myself completely just jump into candy. And I've been talking like this for years. So if anyone is like a follower of mine for any longer than the last few, you know, eight months that I've been on YouTube, then they'll know that this is an ongoing thing of me saying, oh, I'm gonna lose weight, I'm gonna lose weight, I'm gonna lose weight, and um, not doing it. So I've started a hashtag on Instagram called from chin to thin. Hashtag from chin to thin. So hoping if any of you would like to hashtag me that on Instagram, um, if you guys have any healthy recipes, if you have any motivational tips, if you have any inspiration, if you have lost weight yourself and you'd like to post before and after pictures, if you want to post pictures of your fat chin, I don't care. Anything that has to do with just goals of weight loss in mind, Instagram, hashtag from chin to thin. And um, I will look at it and I will look at it often and I think that that's a good way that we can stay in contact with each other. Um, I think maybe I will call a series that on YouTube. I will preface any weight loss and stuff that I have on my channel and I will name it from chin to thin so that people will know what kind of video that is and um, why I'm starting in the first place because this chin's gotta go. And yeah, chin Steve will stay as long as this is here, but I'm just saying. I don't want her to be here anymore. <laughs> but yes, uh, we are also doing a Biggest Loser competition at my work, which we do every year. I won last year. <laughs> oh, I didn't keep it off, but I won uh, like $260, which was really nice. We put in each at least like $20 into a pot and everybody, whoever loses the highest percentage of weight loss at my work wins the pot. And last year I won, the year before, I lost like 0.2 pounds, so I didn't win. But, um, yeah and so that was good motivation so basically yeah weight loss and let's talk about some other goals that i have in 2014. another goal that i have is to get more organized i've already started this slightly um i have i made these the other day and first and foremost i'm pretty sure most of you know that i'm obsessed with harry potter but i could not be more obsessed with my new makeup holders and i made these so basically i went to target and they have these little uh, pen holders. I don't know. My makeup brushes are in here clearly. They're like pen holders. So they're like these sectioned off little things. And um, I Mod Podged Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone book pages to them outside of it. Don't worry, I didn't just cut up one of my books or anything like that. I just, um, my husband's cousin had a um, book that she got at like a thrift store and um, she had cut the 
pages out of it to use it for like crafting and things like that and basically I use these for my makeup brushes and um, you can see I use like the little chapter pieces like Nicholas Flamel and I don't know what that's Quidditch so they're the cutest little makeup holders I've ever seen in my entire life and I'm absolutely obsessed and in love with them and people ask me all the time they keep asking me on Instagram how did you make those do a tutorial honestly it would be the dumbest tutorial in the entire world because it's so simple like you take it you measure out your book pages and you mod podge to it and if you don't know how to mod podge like it's literally like glue like you glue it stick the paper down and then glue over top of it and then that's what it looks like and i love it so much so i'm trying to get more organized like you can see like i've got my lipsticks in here and then my eye pencils and my foundation and my blushes and i'm trying to just get more organized in general because my life is a disgusting chaotic mess like if you want to see my living room right now like just the fact that there's a shoe just a sh dirty shoe another dirty shoe a beer bottle over here a syringe not from my heroin for my cat's medicine a backpack a coffee pot um a tote what the hell is that? uh bikes a little mermaid sleeping bag a bat like i just have shit sitting around because i am so disorganized unorganized disorganized i don't know the word for it but i still got my christmas tree up and it's like the 29th um got a weird doll laying over there a bike pump i just my life is shambles and my cat i'm not gonna i'm just gonna be completely honest in this video because i feel like this is honesty hour my cat 17 years old she's like incontinent or something i tried letting her in and out to go potty she will not shit in a box because she's old for one she was an outside cat for many years so she never really knew how to poop in and pee in a box so she shits in my garage and this little cat like she goes into the corner and she shits and pees in my garage so every day i'm out there cleaning up cat pee and cat poop and so my garage smells like cat piss and cat shit no matter what i do like i have the only solution to getting her to stop doing that is sticking her outside all day long and then only letting her in at night which is fine it's totes fine i'll do that but it's cold outside i'm not gonna make her stay outside when it's cold because i feel bad for her she sits there at the window and she's like let me in let me in and she's so old so it's like let her pee and poop in the garage kick her outside all day right now i'm just letting her do it i'm just cleaning it up and just bearing with it I tried like putting pee pads out or like doing anything. It shows pee next to them and then like ball it. It's just like, oh my God, my life is fucking cat pee. And so I'm trying to like compose myself and um, just realize like her life is not gonna be that much longer because cats like rarely live this long. When is she gonna die? Like I don't want her to die. I mean, do not think that at all. Like I do not want her to die. The thought of her dying, oh. but I just, she's like perfect she's like a perfect cat i got her blood work taken like last week and i'm like she good and the doctor's like yeah she's perfect what the fuck so anyway she pisses and shits in my garage my garage is a wreck i could go show you my garage i don't know if i want to show you my garage maybe i'll show you my garage it's disgusting it is disgusting like spiders everywhere 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 they're like literally in every single corner they're like up in the ceiling so like when you walk in you're like you running away from spiders every time and like my husband he puts his clothes on the on the laundry room floor he like puts them on the floor like there are laundry baskets for a reason we have like seven laundry baskets put them in the fucking laundry baskets but he won't do it like put them in the laundry basket and then he puts them on the floor out in the garage and then they get all disgusting and then spiders crawl underneath them so i'm doing laundry and fucking spiders are jumping out at me every five seconds and i'm like having a panic attack the whole time i'm out there doing laundry and i can like feel them walking on my feet i mean it's not like my my garage isn't infested with spiders but it's like i i don't kill spiders i don't kill them otherwise it wouldn't be that big a deal i just fucking smash them but i don't kill spiders i like take them each individually outside and i feel really guilty for them because they're just trying to stay warm and i feel so bad and so i have to open up my garage door and i'm like sweeping them outside like go be free <sighs> And then my lint trap on my laundry chute thing is like, you have to like put it, like, you know, like you take your lint out and like most people would throw it in the trash. Well, we just throw ours up on the shelf because we're lazy and super fat. And that would mean we'd have to walk like an extra 15 feet. So we don't do that. We just throw it up on the shelf and it's just like madness. So we've got nasty shelf. And so basically my life is the most disorganized 
disgusting piece of junk like this area of my house do you want to see it how about this i will just show you yeah that's where all the dish towels belong right that's where the cat water thing goes and my bucket and a rope and some bag of beans messy you've got like cat hair tumbleweeds they're just everywhere have things in their proper place have a place for my bills make sure that my bills are written on a calendar written on a calendar so you know which day they need to be paid so that the company's not like we're gonna shut your cell phone off if you don't pay and i'm like i didn't even know it was due like my makeup this is the most organized my makeup has ever been ever i just feel like i don't have any time or energy because i'm so fat right now that i just oh, i am like nine months pregnant in my fat i can't stay like this i feel like i uh, like i feel I can't even explain how I feel like I'm made of pudding like my body is just I feel pudding I feel like a giant pudding person and I can't be that anymore I just can't do it I can barely breathe and I'm just sitting here that's how fat I am right now like I am like and I know people are gonna be like Chrissy don't be so down on yourself this is a motivational channel I don't like it when you're down on I'm not being down on myself I'm being realistic with myself and being realistic means holy fatness i can't do this anymore i can't keep lying to myself and saying you know what though but you weren't able to eat for three years you weren't able to eat for three years and now you're just making up for lost time i've made up for lost time because i've probably eaten every single type of food that there's ever been on the face of this earth in the last six months since my surgery no kidding so all over and done with i'm serious guys i love you all follow me on instagram use the hashtag from chin to thin and let's let's just get this thing rolling if you are in it with me to lose weight for the new year which i'm sure you are because it's everybody's damn goal hashtag me that on instagram hashtag me that on twitter whatever you guys want to do hashtag it and we will all stay in the loop together and we can you know just see how each other's doing and um you know reference me videos if you guys have any weight loss videos or if you have any good recipes or anything like that like i'm gonna try and basically do exactly what i did last time it's just i'm gonna eat a little bit more because i think i was eating too little last time and i don't want to lose hair i know that seems like kind of weird but i've lost so much hair and i almost maybe attributed it to could have been eating too little not having enough vitamins it could be um it could be my gallbladder surgery it could be a multitude myriad of different things don't know what it is but um i've been talking for like i'm not kidding 30 minutes on this so this may be a long as fuck video but whatever okay y'all i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see you in my next video okay follow me on instagram at robbie de christie twitter facebook like this video and let's get the ball rolling happy 2014 bye